the Lewis and Clark Backcountry Byway and Adventure Trail. When Chad said we were going for a 36 mile, three hour nature drive, I wasn't too enthusiastic about it, but by the time we finished this loop, I was already planning on how to come back and do it again. The first thing you have to do though, is get here. The portal to the byway is 20 miles south of Salmon off of Idaho Highway 28 in a town called Tendoy, which is this store, creatively named the Tendoy store. At this cool little mom and pop shop, stop and pick up any snacks you might need and definitely grab a map. So we're in Tendoy right now, about 20 miles south of Salmon, where Sacagawea was born. And we're right at the entrance to the Lewis and Clark Scenic Backcountry Byway Adventure Trail. Wow, that was a mouthful. Yeah, I say we do this. It says it should take us three hours. I don't know, three hours? Nah, it won't take us three hours. Yeah, not the way you drive. One thing that makes this drive cool is the drive itself. With a 4,000 foot gain in loss in elevation, expect some steep grades, at times approaching 20%. Definitely leave your trailer in Tendoy if you have one and take things slow. It is a one way road, however, so at least you won't have to worry about competing with oncoming traffic. The byway is normally free of snow from early June through October, but at peak elevations of 8,600 feet, you might want to call the public land center in Salmon if you're coming early in the season or later in the season. Here's their number. I'll leave it in the description below as well. Needless to say, this is a beautiful drive. The mountains, forests, and grassy foothills look much the same today as when the Lewis and Clark expedition passed through this place in 1805. There are stunning wildflowers and wildlife to see, like this guy that decided to bask in the middle of the road, or this group of lollygaggers just moseying on through. Well, we're greeted by the local wildlife. Yes. Excuse us. Pardon me. We're coming through. Oh. Hey, it works. Oh. Everything we read suggested we leave ourselves three hours to do this drive, but after completing it, we thought we should have left ourselves the entire day because there's so much to do around here. All marked on that map you picked up in Tendoy. Sharky Hot Springs is named for pioneer miner and rancher Frank Sharky. This BLM recreation site features two large outdoor soaking pools, changing rooms, and a fire pit. Oh, woo, that is toasty. Some interesting hair you got there, Chad. Uh, it's my hot springs hair. I don't like to get my hair wet in the hot springs. Oh, that's good. So this is the first place where the U.S. flag was flown in Idaho. Yeah, the first one west of the Rockies. Lewis and Clark flew it right after meeting the Shoshone in 1805. Uh, it's a very fitting, epic view. It is. These little hikes are nice. You don't always have to be in the car. I know. Opens up up here on Limhigh Pass. And this trail for me today is to my liking. A nice stroll. You know, if you wanted to get ambitious, the Continental Divide is over there. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite in shape for the Continental Divide, but maybe if I start training now. This yeah. is good training right here. The thing that's blown me away about this backcountry byway is the accessibility. I mean, right off the highway, you're onto this beautiful, well-maintained, one-lane dirt road that kind of winds through the forest. You come up to this absolutely stunning view from them high pass, and you really could do it in almost any car. Please subscribe to our channel for weekly adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any travel questions for us, we would love to see them in the comments section. And if you haven't watched Epic Idaho yet, make sure you head over to Visit Idaho and check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.